Hi, uh, we're doing a tuna poke bowl. I'm Jose Rosemary, Chef Jose Rosemary here, working with a little infused chili oil from Binsk. Um, everything else, a lot of raw, fresh ingredients. So I've got two cups of sushi rice that I soaked in cold water, rinsed it a bunch of times until the water was clear. That's when you know it's done. You just keep rinsing it in cold water till, till there's no more color in the water. This dish can be done with salmon, uh, with any number of other sushi grade fish. You could even do a vegetarian version with just some other vegetables, your choice. So I'm using, as I said, number one grade ahi tuna. We're gonna cut off a beautiful piece off the top, the eye of the fish. Uh, so this is all we need. You want the really beautiful eye without any of the white sinew in there. And so what we're gonna do is just sort of cut it in a large dice. It's just about making bite-sized pieces that you can pick up with a fork. The thing about your fish, you want to keep this ice cold and until it's time to use it, do not let this sit out while you're getting all your other ingredients together. You want the fish to be ice cold. You want to serve it cold. Otherwise, it could go bad on you. So we're going to set this in the bowl. So always clean your board as you go. It's just a little kitchen tip. I cut fish. This rest of this is going with fish, so it's not about cross-contamination. It's just about working clean. So what we're going to do is put all the vegetables together, and then we're going to make a vinaigrette. I've got half of an English cucumber. You don't need to peel it. Jalapeno. If you don't want it spicy, just use less. I like it spicy. But also for presentation, we want to cut this very thin. We're going to go about three quarters of the way up. This is a pretty large jalapeno. Uh, we're going to cut up some scallions. And I like the green and the white in the scallion. You get a little bit different onion flavor from this and nice texture. So we can go all the way down to the base right before you get to the root. Last but not least is the avocado. One of my favorite ingredients in the world. Make some strips, cut it against the green. Got our diced avocado. We're gonna throw this all in the bowl together, put it back in the fridge to keep it cold until we serve it. I'm not gonna mix this up yet. I'm gonna wait until I have my vinaigrette done and then everything gets tossed together very lightly. First thing is some ginger root. Get it minced as finely as you can. The fun part about cutting ginger like this is your hands smell great for the next hour. Okay, ginger going in the bowl. We got some fresh lemon juice, some lime juice. Um, as you can see, I'm not actually measuring this. I like to go by look and taste. We've got rice vinegar, unseasoned. Um, rice wine, which is very sweet. So you can just put a little bit of that in there. Sriracha for heat. If you don't like it spicy, don't too, put too much of that in there. Definitely need the soy sauce and some sesame oil. You don't need too much of this. It's got a lot of flavor. Now's the fun part. Our chili infused oil from Binsk. Stuff's the good stuff. It's quite spicy. It's infused. Five milligrams per serving. We're gonna dress our pokey. So I've got the tuna, the avocado, the cucumber, the jalapeno, and the scallions. I'm gonna pour all this dressing in here. Get everything coated. And we want this to sit and marinate a little bit before you serve it. So once the rice is done cooking, we want to let it sit for about 10 minutes to rest. You fluff it with a fork, just kind of get it broken up there. This can be served warm or cold. If you want a hot and cold salad, we've let this sit for about 10 minutes. Got a nice, good glaze on the fish. All the ingredients are well mixed. We've got our rice in the bowls. We're just going to evenly divide this between the bowls. You wanna make sure you dig deep, get that sauce down at the bottom because that's where all the goodness is. So it's just a really nice balance of fresh fish, crunchy vegetables, the creamy avocado, the soft rice. This is a very healthy lunch or light dinner to serve. Um, some dried seaweed that was just rehydrated in cold water. That's all it's got on it. We're gonna sprinkle that on there. Adds another layer of flavor and also some health benefits. And last but not least, toasted sesame seeds. 
You want to be really liberal with those. They add a fun little miniature crunch, good texture, good flavor, and it just looks really cool. The Binsk spicy chili olive oil. It is the secret ingredient to make this extra special. 